I want to welcome you to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaya Diamond. What's up, people? How you doing? This is the author edition. Don't forget to follow, like, comment, subscribe in the comment section below. I'm telling you, I have so many different amazing authors. And today we have a return author. He is on book number three. And it is Andrew Cho. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm Ron Isley with the Isley Brothers. I'm Ernie Isley of the Isley Brothers. And our new album is Make Me Say It Again, Girl. And our new single from that album is called Last Time. And we're with uh, Yaya Diamond. And she's a special lady to us, too. Welcome back to the show. So I am telling you, we have Andrew Troll here, and he has book number three. We're going to be talking about that. We're also going to be going back just a little bit to get his his story, because you know what? It's inspiring to see that it, you, it doesn't matter. It just really doesn't matter when you start. You start young, you start old, you start in the middle. It doesn't matter. The thing is that you start. And that's what Andrew Chow did today. I want to thank you so much for, Mr., for uh, joining me, Mr. Chow. How are you? Finding you. I'm doing I'm good. I'm doing good. So I'm tell good. us about yourself one more time. I know you've been on the program before, but some people have never seen you. Yes. Uh, uh, my name is Andrew Choi. I uh, was born in uh, South Korea and uh, I came to United States uh 1983 uh, to join the world evangelism and uh, I uh, accept Christ Jesus as my Lord and Savior when I was in college and uh, I have a very uh, dramatic uh, event and uh, uh, to make a short story uh, I was hospitalized uh, three weeks unconscious and uh, I got uh, great pain on my head because of uh, three degree bonds on my head. And uh, I got a uh, sharp pain, like uh, poking my head with the needles. And I uh, uh, recognize uh, uh, that uh, Christ suffering and his shame is to uh, make me a new person and uh, uh, get over the trials of my life and uh, get a, a, a better person. That's how uh, 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 I can introduce myself and uh, I uh uh devoted my life to uh help youngsters uh to find the way to get better uh overcome any trials and uh, have a peaceful life for 15 years and uh, i joined the u.s army chaplain of 21 years i was with the troop many times many uh uh, 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 dangerous uh, places as well, but uh, in there I found the peace of God because uh, I look up God who uh, make me go through uh, the stormy day and get a, a restored and uh, have a victorious life. Uh, that's me. Wow. That's Andrew Charles. Yes. Well, I mean, I, there are a lot of people out there that are very curious about this. During the time that you were, uh, you know, under, so you were unconscious, what happened? Were you uh, aware of what was going on around you or were you in another place? Did you see your body? I mean, a lot of people want to know. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, actually, I was uh, uh, involved in the uh, student demonstration. Uh, against the uh, government policy. And uh, I thought that uh, the government leader is not doing uh, uh, the uh, uh, justice. So uh, 
as a young man, uh, I was zeal to uh, uh, make society better. And so I demonstrate and uh, uh, there was a chemical bomb uh, 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 sh shoot it uh, above my head and all the chemical stuff uh, uh, pour down to my head and uh, uh, I got uh, unconscious. Uh, I got hurt and unconscious. I hospitalized three uh, weeks and uh, three so degree during, of bond. During those three weeks, during those three weeks, where were you? Were you black? Was it black or was it something that revolutionized you? Did you see something during that time? Uh, it's, it's, a, uh, it's, it's in my spirit, in my spirit. Uh, I found that uh, uh, my, I was unconscious, but uh, there's a spirit in me to uh, clearly think and clearly uh, recognize something. And uh, that makes me uh, uh, thinking about Christ's suffering on the cross. And uh, that's for uh, to uh, cleanse all my sin and transform me. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that, that's why the situation, the hospital situation wow. in my wow. mind, in my soul, yes. Wow. And so with that experience and with that event, did that turn you around? Were you writing before that or were you writing after that? And did this influence your writing? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, before I, I was writing, but uh, after that, uh, I was uh, uh, more involved, uh, have uh, spent a lot of time uh, writing. And uh, yes, yes, after that, 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 that kind of uh, 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 give me an inspiration uh, to write, yes. I hear you, I hear you. So yeah. let's talk about book number three. Tell me yeah. about that. Yes, uh, it's a, on a stormy day. Right. Um, I think uh, I chose the right topic <laughs> on a stormy day because uh, uh, not just me, many people uh, face the stormy day and uh, sometimes uh, because the storm is uh, too much uh, for uh, endure, uh, too much that uh, it even can destroy my life. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but uh, uh, what I thought is uh, in, uh, uh, Gospel of Matthew 14, there's a description that the uh, disciple of, of Jesus Christ uh, met a stormy day at the Sea of Galilee. And uh, uh, they cannot move toward their purpose. There's uh, no way they can move. They go around, around. It, it explained that it's buffered and they stay one purpose. And uh, the storm pushes away from their purpose and their goals. And uh, they, they feel they cannot uh, arrive to their destination. And uh, in, in uh, that situation, they will be frustrated if we face that frustrated agony. Most of all, panic uh, and there's time that uh, we cannot overcome uh, the stormy day with our own ability and this is the time that we look up to the higher power mm -hmm. god's intervention god's help uh, not many people think that uh, 
not all of them, some of them think that uh, they have to work on with their own ability, mm -hmm. but when that's uh, limited, right. uh, it's time that we uh, depend on a higher power. And, uh, you know, yeah. I always thought yeah. that writing was almost like not just your imagination, but your mm -hmm. spirit mm -hmm. talking mm -hmm. yes. outside of your head. You know, when you write, when you when you do this, when you put this on paper, how does that make you feel? And and literally speaking, does it relieve you a little bit to know that oh, yes. other people may be feeling the same way? Yes, yes. Uh, I think uh, 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 people will many people agree uh, or go through the same uh, stuff uh, that I, I was going through, panicking, especially these days, uh, uh, lots of fear, uh, many uh, psychological problems because of uh, fear, anxiety, and uh, the same thing, uh, that we uh, go through this with yeah. other people. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, so now that you have this book Not out, just imagination. Right. Right. This it's, spirit. Go through. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Now that you have this book out and it's in your face and it's in front of you, let me see the book again. Show people the book. On a stormy day. On a stormy day. day. Yes, yes. So she, it's not only uh, in English. What other language is it in? Uh, it's a uh, uh, Korean language uh, called the uh, Hangul, mm. and uh, I'm a uh, uh, Korean, <laughs> so right. uh, Korean, and so uh, I wrote in uh, in English and uh, Korean. It's That's bilingual. so cool. I think that there are not many bilingual books. No, no. I've this only, all of this time, I've only interviewed one other person. Literally, I can just one. Just She did it in English and Spanish. So you did yours oh, in English okay, and okay. Korean. I, you know, yes. it's just, it's one of those things where the new generation of children that live in the United States, yes. even if they're Hispanics or if they're German or if they're Korean or Chinese, yes, they're exactly. not really always, not always learning the, the heritage, heritage of the English. Um, yes. I'm sorry, of the language. They're, they're only learning English. They're not learning like oh, Japanese yes. or Korean mm -hmm. or Hispa you know, Spanish or things. So mm -hmm. it's very good. I think that's amazing. Yes, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I appreciate Definitely. it. So appreciate what's it. next for you? Uh, next uh, is uh, uh, I'm uh, some inspiration coming to me uh, 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 often, so uh, I put it down and uh, I'm putting down notes to uh, write another book. And most of my book is uh, uh, I want to help people. Uh, to overcome th their trials, overcome their anxiety, overcome their fear. Uh, I want to uh, share with them the uh, calmness, the goodness, and peacefulness of life that I experience in, uh, with my belief, uh, uh, which is Christianity. I want to share that. Uh, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's, that's uh, wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. Mr. Cho, thank you so much for coming out and, and thank you so much for, for being here. What kind of advice do you give to people who may be kind of hesitant to write their book? Uh, the uh, Everyone uh, has a, a story to share and uh, everyone has a story that uh, could inspire others, encourage others, and uh, it, it, uh, 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 honestly, I'm not a skillful uh, writer. 
Yeah, I just want to share. Me either. Yeah, yeah. So uh, just do it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Share I agree. the story to inspire. Yeah, just do it. Yes. That's it. That's it. Did we miss anything that you would like to tell your your fans and your readers today? Oh, uh, I want to say uh, one thing. The uh, even when the circumstances seems not improving. Just like a uh, disciple facing the uh, stormy day, could not move forward. At that time, even if it lasts long, consistently believe that you will overcome, you will surely overcome, have a victory uh, in your life, uh, even in the stormy day. That's what I want to say to everyone. 